It's time to go behind enemy lines presented by Windows 11. So pleased to be joined by NFL radio legend, the voice of the San Francisco 49ers, Greg Papa. Thanks for taking the time. Anything for, for you, Mike. I, I'm looking forward to the trip on Thursday. Should be a, a good football game. A couple of really physical teams. I'm looking forward to this. It's great to be with you. Let's talk about this San Francisco 49er football team that has won five of its last six, eight and six overall. What's keyed the comeback for the Niners here in 2021? The, the word that I just used, and that's why I think it's strength versus strength with your team and Mike Rabel's mindset, physicality. They're winning the line of scrimmage. It's a Kyle Shanahan sophisticated run game. Trent Williams is such a good player. Alex Mack has been a major acquisition at center. From left tackle to right tackle, they're dominating. They're just all over. They just they take all the eligibles, they move them all around. It's sophisticated, but it starts by winning the line of scrimmage. And then on defense, they are dominating both lines of scrimmages. Their, their skill players have skill, and the skill is trucking you, running over you, breaking tackles. They call themselves the Yak Bros. That's why I love this game. It's gonna be cold. It's going to be, you know, right before Christmas, and it's going to harken back to an earlier era, and the team that is more physical on Thursday night is going to win the game. And I know how physical you guys are, but you better strap it on tight because these 49ers, uh, they are not white wine sippers. Remember the, 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 the finesse 49ers of the 80s and 90s that won Super Bowls? That's not this team. This is more like Jim Harbaugh's team. I want to do a deeper dive on George Kittle. He's a guy that obviously everybody knows. People in this area know him well. He's got a lot of friends here in Middle Tennessee. Since he's come back from the injury, he has been red hot. What's made it go for Kittle since he's come back? Hell, he, so the first game of the year, he gets kicked, and it really was the Achilles. It's been maybe four or five games, maybe starting with that Ram game, where he really got the, the whole the whole brunt of his physicality. He, he's off-season home is in Nashville. He built an elaborate workout area in, a, in his barn there, and he got into these balance beam things, and you can see it. See the touchdown that he scored in Seattle, a 48-yarder, when he went right down like a balance beam? I called it the uh, Barishnikov touchdown because he got up on his toes. He didn't step out of bounds. So that, that guy was such an incredible run blocker, Mike, and what he is is just a tough sucker. He, he's trying to uh, to run right through you every time. We're in SEC country. Everybody knows Debo Samuel here. Injury riddled year a year ago. This year, 12 total touchdowns. Taking his game to a completely different level. What's key to that? Uh, the offseason. Working like George Kittle in the offseason. Got himself in really good shape. He's always been a little bit, you know, portly, stocky. He's thick-legged. So he's not a great route runner. But what he is is a, is a point-of-contact collision guy where he'll just go up like Kittle. I'm gonna go catch this football, and then you gotta tackle me after I catch it. He knows how to sit down, uncover, and zone. He's not a man beater. They're using him like a running back. Why take the middle man out of it? If he's not a great route runner, and they're gonna play man on him, you know what, we'll hide him behind the offensive line. So they, they made him kind of a half wide receiver, half running back, 100% football player. I think he's gonna make the Pro Bowl this year, but you tell me what position well, we make it at. We did it all at South Carolina. We can't be surprised he's doing it all for the 49ers. I want to go defense right now. So much talk about Nick Bosa. We'll talk about him all week and should be. Who else is making the defense happen? Uh, Arden Key. He fits the scheme here, the 49ers run. They're lighting him up inside over a guard. So Arden Key on that D-line has been huge. They moved Eric Armstead inside from DN to three technique. DJ Jones is playing great. So, you know, those four guys, I, I would say a handful of guys, but they're starting to lock in. They're shutting down the run. That's why this game is going to be really interesting. And Bosa, he's got 15 sacks, but watch him play the run. He is a great run player. You can see and you can hear why 49ers fans love him. He is an NFL legend. Greg Papa with us. So glad to have you. Thanks for taking the time. Can't wait to see you on Thursday. Thank you, my friend. So are you right back at you. Right back at you. Can't wait to see it. That's behind enemy lines, sponsored by Windows 11.